What's up guys? Quick little update video. I haven't been posting much lately. Um, my garage here. <laughs> Still working on it since I've moved my electronics out of our spare room upstairs to turn it back into a spare room that somebody is now sleeping in. So I'm trying to like set myself up an area to work on things out in my garage. And I'm trying not to make it in a big mess. I did like uh, use my tools here just a little bit, but I've still got to get everything just set up the way it, it ultimately needs to be. I need to find a place to really keep this music stuff without just keeping it out here just like that. I just cleared out some stuff over here, but keep bringing out more stuff. So it's just, you know, work in progress. But here's the main issue. Like, if I wanted to come out here and work on something right now, I, I just can't comfortably comfortably I might have to put a freaking coat on that is freaking water source heat pump I'm using to heat my water up in my house which works still um you know it's blowing out old ass air uh, 56 dropping I just heard a kick on a few minutes ago so yeah right here you know I put on a it's cold I put on a <laughs> I clamped on a pipe clamped the thermometer onto my seat the other day just for shits and giggles because I thought it was cold and sure enough the material of everything was 60 and dropping so it's just blowing cold air right here where I would like to sit and work on things not too much I have to listen to that thing it's not really loud but you can see the uh, compressor's at 40 hertz right now but, yeah so I've got a couple different things in the works um, right now going on. And just, of course, it's to the point again where I have multiple things going on at once and I just don't finish any of it. Like, look at this. I didn't clean this up yet. I just kind of threw it in here. My 2200 watt UPS with all these batteries in there and it works, but it's not all thick. <laughs> didn't do any final touches. You know, I'm experimenting with some cameras somebody gave me that work with my existing system with all those cables there. I mean, I got a whole stack of Amcrest cameras up there my friend gave me. IP uh, over internet, or what do you call it, you know, power over ethernet uh, type, cam type cameras. And I changed my DVR from eight channel to 16, and so I'm able to just connect this through a, uh, that power over ethernet router tied into my existing system, and boom! I can put on eight more cameras onto my eight camera system. I have one that I've watched in my garage. It's pretty cool. Motion sensor. If anybody comes in, oops, it will alert me. It'll just ding dong right on my phone. So I want, you know, security when you have stuff here. So just everything's a mess. So a couple there. Just continue to say I have different things I need to get done. One thing is I never did turn my uh, upstairs unit back into a heat pump so we have no heat upstairs in this house but we have a downstairs heat pump so the house is not cold wife has it set at 72 which is setting it warm in my book but uh, that, that makes the upstairs you know might get down to 69 or so so we're to we've been totally fine um that and then now i'm thinking of uh, a couple things go together with this right now um couple different things I want to do but I want to I almost want to take this thing out of here I have a compressor here which I haven't even ran it yet but it's uh, from a you know DC inverter system I might be able to run it off of a VFD I might rebuild my heat pump water heater out of that and another coil or something and like basically mount an external condenser outside and just run the water lines out to it it'll get rid of all this I put it outside just run my water lines to the wall out there yeah that'd be cool because this did give me free cool air during the summer whenever it heats but it doesn't need to heat as much during the summer people aren't using as much hot water during the summer and it given that it's 100 plus in the garage you know to begin with it just doesn't run long enough to ever actually cool it into a usable temperature in here you know i did feel the garage cool down like down to 90 each time it did run it would drop it like 10 degrees but it that would be just right after you know it heated some water and then you'd have many hours throughout the day of no cool air which the broader part of the afternoon nobody's taking showers or washing washing laundry or anything then so uh it didn't provide cool air 
whenever I would actually be out here, you know, enjoying it. So it doesn't do me any real benefit being out here is what I'm trying to say. So I think I'm going to relocate. It, it's cold in here right now, isn't it? Yeah. It's getting freaking cold. It's 72 in my house. Garage door shut. It's 70 outside. We just drove my truck. Windows down, did we not? Windows down, totally warm. And yet we're out in my garage, you know, and it's freaking cold out here. 54 degree air blowing out right there. So... No, it runs whenever it heats the water. Somebody used hot water, and so it's running. It'll shut off in a little bit. So, uh, yeah. So I need to redo that, probably. What it is to be that because it's blowing like the hot water? Huh? What is blowing cold air into here? What, what are you saying? How is it blowing cold air into here? Because it's a heat pump. It uses refrigeration. It's heating the water by taking heat out of the air. So the water, heat going to the water is heat that's taken out of this room, as well as heat from compression, you know, heat from the compressor and the work and everything it does. So it heats the water really good, but it's making it cold in here. And that sucks, because it's actually cold standing right here. I told you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, when I open the garage door in a minute, it'll probably warm up a little bit in here. I mean, it's Arizona, it's December, whatever it is right now, fifth or sixth or something, it's 70 degrees outside today. <laughs> so, um... I'm gonna, yeah, so what I'll do is I got this coil. I just changed out a low temp unit yesterday, just a little one. I'm thinking I could use that coil and fan on the skid as a condenser skid as maybe my evaporator section and also mount my compressor and heat exchanger. I have that other heat exchanger out back. So I could totally build a new water source heat pump slash whatever condenser unit without getting into this unit. I could just let this unit run until I'm ready just to put the pipes to the wall. So I think that's gonna be my project. And then, other things I'm thinking of doing, which maybe, since we made my point, let's go ahead and open this and go outside. Alexa, what time is it? What time is it? Oh, 2.30, okay. So sun's already gone past this area, so it was warmer here. Oh, yeah, it's, it's definitely warmer out here than it is in there, so... I gotta really tackle this mess and get this cleaned up. This is just where I've thrown stuff as I've been working on projects. I have all sorts of parts and everything. Ugh, copper and everything in there, but I gotta go through that, get that, probably move this maybe. Probably put that water source heat pump slash condenser unit here somewhere, make a nice stand for it or something, get it off the ground. This unit here, this is my VFD driven three phase compressor that I have assisted by solar power which a lot of you have seen. My external rectifier feeding the verbal frequency drive has made it without frying all summer. The fan is still working. So, hey, I actually have a, a, a diode H-bridge block to replace this with if I want now. Scored one the other day. Got some used units. So uh, this is the one that needs to be converted into a heat pump because when I changed out my other Goodman heat pump for this. This was a straight cool, but I got it for free. I did buy a brand new air handler, though. It's up in the attic. So, so maybe a little change in direction is I've been trying to build. What do you call it like a, you know, I want to. I need to filter my DC power. Just trying to make like a book boost, something that would just basically be a power factor corrector. But it's a lot of work, and you know, it's hard to get parts and. For what I have and my tooling I have and my scopes and being careful with it, it's kind of hard to build 300 plus volt power supplies. You know, so and that's been my something I've been slowly working on this summer. Didn't do. <laughs> so I might scrap all this idea. I might just buy myself a regular single phase three ton heat pump to put back here. This was a four ton system. I changed it with a three ton. I wasn't worried because I figured if it didn't keep up upstairs, I would just take off one of the rooms and put a mini split in it, but it worked. It worked. I actually went from a four ton down to a three ton and it kept our house cool this summer. It did run a lot, and we, but it maintained and we ran the temperature lower than we've ever ran it because everybody was here this summer, except for me, but the wife was here working from home, you know, stuff like that. So if I do do that, I'll no longer have the solar assisted, you know, power, which I don't think I got any benefit because of the power factor correction. Just the way it wasn't, I never, I told you guys earlier how I needed it to uh, build a regulator so it would actually shift to all solar power 
once the uh, sun was able to produce it, but I never got that far, so it didn't yeah, benefit from that. Why is it a Ford, not a Dodge? Why are you distracting in that? Because Ford's much better. No. You, see, you know it is. So, uh, she getting brainwashed. So, if I change this to a... If I change this to a single phase and just put it back to normal, plus it'll be beneficial if I ever sell the house just to have a regular AC unit, a heat pump again, take all that off. I will... I'm going to go, uh, wind up putting in a mini split in my garage because I need it for next summer to be able to stand working in there when it is 100. And the thing is, I'll be using it when the sun's up and it will. I'll be running the solar to that. That was my almost my original idea before I did this was to run solar into uh, some mini splits. So that's kind of the change of direction. <laughs> Back here, I'm trying to click. Like I said, I've been trying to clean up my messes back here, but right here. Oh, I should have chucked this. I don't think I'm gonna use that ever again. This is uh, remember, I was experimenting with heating up water. This is like a 9000 BTU compressor on one of those little portable ACs that was working before I took it apart. I repiped it, made the, you know, this thing. Uh, I forget what I did. This is just not connected to anything, I think. Um, connect the uh, evaporator and then. He's using that water heat exchanger as a condenser, and it actually did heat water. So I have that heat exchanger, so I don't need to worry about the one that's in the unit that's working right now to heat my water. I kind of wonder if this would be a big enough for an evaporator, and I think it would be. So I got this thing; it's all together. Strip off the compressor, strip off the receiver, all this junk. I have that one ton, you know, inverter drive compressor in the garage. I'm thinking of mounting on here and then maybe mounting on that bolting that heat exchanger to this too. Making myself this little nice little evaporator section basically heat pump, you know. And use it to heat the water. Now it'll be a smaller compressor than what's in the one that's inside, that old uh, heat pump that's inside. But that thing's got a 2 ton compressor inside, but the highest I run the compressor is 40 hertz. And then it drops down to 35 once the leaving water temperature gets over 130. So... I don't think I needed two tons of compressor, so I have the one ton one that I might even be able to, might even produce a little more than that when you ramp that up to full speed. I think full speed is 120 hertz on that, but I've yet to experiment with that, so that's the thing. I think one of my next things I'm going to do is I'm going to tear this down, and I'm going to start bolting that thing together, and I should, I could actually get it up together and running to experiment with it and just hook an external pump up to it like I did before, see how it works, way before I even get done, you know bounding it to the house. But I think it would be pretty cool. Not to mention a lot smaller than that monstrosity that I have in there. So that's kind of what's going on. And of course now, you know, I bet the solar panels are probably making some power right now, but nothing like it was probably in the summer. I don't have those tilted and the sun is tilted, but uh, I think I have more than enough panels to ever run one compressor at a time. You know, we we're talking like one ton unit. So I was running able to run my three ton three phase compressor over there in that Lennox uh in the summer when the sun was you know overhead or you know not too much of an acute angle so more than enough power so anyway that'll be that's what I'm going to be working on I think get this to heat my water which I need to do soon so or I can't use my garage <laughs> it's too cold and then I need to uh, probably change out my system here pretty soon to uh, back to a heat pump so stay tuned. More projects coming. I just got to stick to it. <laughs>